You know, this is something interesting. It might not feel like it, but rent is actually going down in Metro Atlanta. Experts say wages can't keep up with more people trying to find affordable housing. They're potentially becoming vulnerable to scams trying to find a place that they can afford. So today we're hearing from one mom out thousands of dollars in a place to stay after she fell victim. We're talking about Nikki Sampson. She's a mother of three. And she tells us she had been homeless for two and a half years. She was so excited. She moved into a property she found online Friday, but she soon learned the people who showed her the house didn't own it. She was scammed. The real property manager, that's Progress Residential, sent someone with a notice asking her to get out of that property with her kids within 24 hours. Samson showed them receipts of payments, showing that she paid $3,000 to a person that gave her the keys to a home and even a lease to go with it. But Samson says just when she thought things were coming together, the entire ordeal turned into heartbreak. It's just so much this going on you know not to have as much help as you need it mm -hmm. you borrow you beg you do whatever you have to do for your kids and i get this house and i think all my pain is over oh we grilled we listened to music we you know it was that was a small celebration for us yeah, a representative with Progress Residential said situations like this happen often, especially here in Atlanta. They say they visit 15 of these properties every week, many in Henry, DeKalb, and Clayton counties. So here's a question. How can you protect yourself and avoid falling victim? First, you never want to rent sight unseen. Make sure you see the place. Second, make sure the lease lists your exact unit, full address, owner and manager of the property. Third, don't give in to pressure. Renting should not feel rushed. Fourth, never give cash, don't wire money, and do not send money through a third party like Zelle, Venmo, or Cash App. Lastly, when looking at a property and they don't check your credit, that is a red flag. And as for Samson and her family, you just saw them on screen. Thanks to help from two nonprofits, they are staying in an extended stay until next week until they can try to find another place to live.